All right, boys, what's going on? So let's just get right into today's video. We have the Supercross 25 official release date, and we have some screenshots to go through and look over that I believe were released a couple weeks ago, but I just never got to them. So thanks to one of my subscribers on Instagram that messaged me. I believe his name is Joao55MX. I can't pronounce his name properly. He sent me a link, and if you click that, go to Amazon, change your location to Germany, I believe it is. You can see Supercross 25 is there on the website. And it is going to be about 58 euros, which converts to about 88 goddamn dollars Canadian, which with tax, where I'm from, it's going to be over a hundred dollars, a hundred fucking dollars Canadian for this shit. And about 65 or 64 US dollars. So that means officially this game is full price. Recently, I just bought NHL 25, which was like $90 Canadian with tax was like 105. So this game is going to be about... 100 203 dollars canadian that is absurd i just i understand that it was probably expensive to make this game but holy shit i guarantee you this game will not be worth that much money so supercross 25 is releasing april 10th 2025 that is near the end of the uh supercross season for next year so that is pretty good to see because some tracks may change from the track layout earlier in the season and that gives milestone the chance to potentially change the layouts because of this game released before the season started, and let's say some of the tracks changed from the track maps, Milestone probably wouldn't care to update them or change them. I don't think they've ever done that, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect them to because it's Milestone. They hardly ever update these games after they release them. So I am glad that it is going to be releasing towards the end of the Supercross season. Still during, but not after, so we'll have some Supercross hype left in us. So I'm actually excited about that. That's a good uh, release date in my opinion. So now here are some of the screenshots that I found online. Uh, as you can see, the, the lighting and graphics look really good. I, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Graphics have always been Milestone's like strong point, strong suit with these games. And I think, again, they took a step up with the Unreal Engine 5, I believe it is. Graphics and track uh, graphics, textures, they look pretty good. Look orgasmic, sexy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It looks like it looks like the rider posture may be a little odd, I guess you could say. I would probably expect them to be similar to Supercross 6 because they probably won't change the rider that much, in my opinion. One of my favorite screenshots here is, I believe this is the in-game menu that we will be getting. Main menu, whatever you want to call it. This is a very cool looking screenshot. The graphics look nice. The rider posture looks a little odd. Looks like he's trying to flex his damn lats or something. Like in, like lat man, I don't fucking know. This kind of reminds me of Supercross 1 or Supercross 2. So I'm glad they're going back to a menu where you can actually see a rider and bike. And there's like a stadium or stuff in the background. Because Supercross 3, 4, 5, 6... Those like basic square menus, whatever the hell they were, those belong in like other games, not a sports game in my opinion. I'm hoping that this isn't just the rider customization screen and it's actually the main menu because it would be perfect in my opinion. We'll just have to wait and see. It also looks like a rhythm section or whatever, rhythm tracks are going to be returning. I never played, I never even touched them once in Supercross 6 uh, because like the physics and how they were designed didn't really work well they're pretty much just wide open from what i've seen online if they can make some actual good rhythm sections rhythm tracks sure they can be fun but from what i'm looking at from the screenshot it looks pretty basic and not difficult um i remember like if you go to supercross encore look at those rhythm sections rhythm tracks whatever you want to call them they they're difficult and there's different lines to them but these it just doesn't look like it now i know milestone promoted in their trailer that there is ruts in Supercross 25, but I believe they might be just bullshitting you guys. I think that's just a marketing tactic. Because if you look at the trailer and the screenshots in this video, it really doesn't look like there's terrain deformation or ruts like they claim. Now, Milestone has been a little shady in the past, I believe, with their marketing tactics. So I would not be surprised if Supercross 25 just has no ruts or only visual terrain deformation and it doesn't actually affect the rider or bike. Now, could I be completely wrong? Yes, but from what I've seen, it really doesn't look like there is very impactful ruts or terrain deformation system that we have been hoping for for years and years. And Milestone took two years off from making these Supercross games and MXGP games or whatever, but it doesn't look like we're going to have terrain deformation from what I've seen. Or if we do, it's probably just going to be visual again. So for this game being full price, man, they have to deliver. We got to have good physics. You got to have DLC content planned for this game. They cannot just release this and drop zero DLC like they have in the past. You do get a little pre-order bonus. You get two skins. Nothing really cool or exciting, honestly. But for full price, I, I don't think it's going to be worth it. There probably isn't going to be a whole lot to look forward with this game. 
that's just my personal opinion. A milestone has let us down game after game now. They pretty much just release their games, don't update them, and they move on to the next. That's basically what they do now. So maybe them taking two years off, maybe I could be completely wrong. But I really fucking doubt it. So other than that, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, take care.